Oh my goodness, it's so nice to meet you. I just wanted to let you know that Scott Victor bases all of his opinion from his heart and not his wallet, okay? I just wanted to let you know that he has no sponsorship with these companies. Oh, so thank you for listening. <laughs> What is up, creator? I'm going to review three soundboard programs that will give you the ability to play your own custom sound effects for OBS during your live streams. These three amazing programs all provide visual buttons that can be easily clicked during your live show. The goal is ease of use and the ability to mix the sounds to create new effects for the show. Let's get some! The first soundboard we're going to review for sound effects into OBS is Jingle Palette. It's been around forever. Let's download it right now by going to jinglepalette.com. Download is fairly self-explanatory. Here's the program. A couple things that I want to show you real quick. You can have multiple palettes, which are basically groups of buttons that you assign your sound effects to. You can advance to the multiple palettes by hitting Next Palette and Previous Palette. In order to delete a palette all you do is select it by making it blue and hitting your delete key and it prompts you to delete it that is not intuitive in order to create your new group of buttons all you have to do is click stop an empty palette okay and then click save current palette and it switches over to a field where then you would type in the name of the new palette so i'll call this one whoop let's click it again i'll, I'll call it sounds okay and hit the enter key but when you do that, it doesn't save it because you have to assign a sound effect to the button first. So go to an empty button, right click, assign jingle, select your sound effect. In this case, I'm gonna make it a cheers sound effect, an audience cheering, hit open, it adds it. Now, here's another thing. When you add the sound effect to the button, it reads the name of the file and, and automatically titles the button per the name of the sound effect file. So make sure that when you're naming your sound effects, it uses the same language that describes what the sound effect is. So in this case, I named it audience space cheers dot mp3. That's why it reads the way it reads right now. Now when I hit save current palette, I can type in the word sounds, hit the enter button, and it adds the palette to the list okay that's how you save it everything else is fairly self-explanatory it's pretty cool it's fun let's move on to the next one all right okay this next one is wicked cool it is so powerful and fun it's called liorian board search the following word l-i-o-r-a-n b-o-a-r-d okay one word just google it it will take you to the open broadcaster software forms page it's a blue page it'll take you right to it to download the software this one is absolutely free it is very very powerful because it does other things besides just allowing you to push a button and hear a sound effect okay it does all kinds of cool stuff for obs studio it is extremely flexible in regards to how it shows you the buttons and also how you create the buttons and how many buttons you can add to the board okay so there's 100 percent flexibility i'll show you what i'm talking about in just a minute now here's a downside that maybe is not totally like a downside you can only use aug files so if you're interested in converting a wave or an mp3 into aug all you have to do is go to online convert you can go to audacity and download that software or you can go to something called bear audio i made a video about bear audio which is an online editor all you have to do is import the mp3 or WAV file, then click save and select AUG and you save it as an AUG. So anyway, let's get started with this. I did a whole video on how to get this running on OBS. It's standalone in, in one way, but in other ways it's not a standalone because it requires that it communicates directly with OBS before you can run it. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that OBS Studio is running on my computer. I'm gonna check that the WebSockets plugin is running, which it is. Now it's ready to communicate with any third party program this designed to do that and now I'm going to go into my folder and I'm going to go into Lyorian board and make sure that my receiver is running okay and I'm going to connect to OBS and it gives me a prompt and tells me that it has connected now I'm going to go into the stream deck double click that hit connect and boom it propagates the buttons that I've already created to play sound effects. Let me just test it for you real quick. Get so. There it goes. It works. Now, what makes this thing so great, one of the reasons why it's so great, is that the programmer 
set up this stream deck to have liquid design. So that means if you've run out of screen space and you want to make this thing smaller on, based on a dimension that you want, all you have to do is put your cursor on the lower right hand corner and make the window smaller and look at that. The buttons will, will automatically change in size to fill the available space. Now you can sneak this thing into a corner and still run OBS and do your live stream and still have complete ability to select the buttons that you've created for the sound effects, okay? That is huge, man. That seems like a little kind of a feature, but believe me, when you have only one screen to do live streams, this is a big feature to have. What if you wanted to create a stream deck with more than the buttons that you see here? What if you wanted to have, say, 80 buttons or 100 buttons? Let me show you how to do that. Remember I told you this thing is flexible? Wait to see this. I just opened up the receiver. I'm gonna click Add New Deck and I'm going to open it up and it gives me the design board or the stream deck board empty without any buttons and it gives you this thing called grid width and grid height so currently it shows six by five which gives you the ability to have 30 buttons but it can get way more powerful than that what if i put in 20 by 20. now i have 400, 400 buttons <sighs> that you can assign to one board, okay? Now, you don't have to assign them to the individual squares. I can add a button here. Let's just click create a blank one. I'll type my name in here, okay? Change the color to whatever. Hit done, hit create, and it creates a button. But you can stretch it out to cover more than one just singular cell. So I can make the button tall, or I can make the button super duper wide, depending on your needs. So this is how it gets really, really flexible because you can determine the actual size of the buttons when you're designing the thing, okay? Which is super cool. Now, another thing that you can do, let me go into the other deck that I've made here. I'll hit done. I'll go to my deck that I've created. Let's pretend that I wanted to create a button that stops the sounds, right? But doesn't stop them abruptly. It stops them with a nice tailed off volume decay to zero. So I'm going to put my cursor in one of the squares here and I'm going to hit stop audio. So this is a predetermined button that it's created for me. I'm going to type the word stop. The color is going to be red and it asks me the fade in milliseconds. So I'm going to put a fade of 200, which is one. We're taking bets. Will Scott Victor get the answer right? What's that? One fourth of a second? No. So going to tail the sound off real quick. I'll hit create, hit done, and I'll go over to my deck. Let's see here. Let's go to the deck. And now when I play a sound effect, right? So I'll play a stupid song that I have created. Put some cheers in there. Welcome to the show. And then I want to stop the sound real quick. It stops it and fades to zero in less than one fourth of a second. That is so cool that he has that set up where you can apply these things. This next program takes sound effects for OBS to the next level. Not only does it have a soundboard, but it will convert your voice into other characters or effects. It is absolutely incredible. It's called Voice Mod. It costs $25 for the full version, which is very reasonable. The interface is extremely easy to use. It's a standalone program. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This thing is off the hook. Here we are in Voice Mod. Uh, what you see when you first open up the program are the available voice modification buttons that you can use. But before I get into that, I just want to show you that there is a soundboard. If you click the plus sign and select a sound effect, in this case, I will go into the sound library, go into my OBS sounds here. It will accept MP3s, but it will not accept OG files, okay? So in this case, you have to select MP3s. I think it takes waves as well. I'm going to select Giggle and hit Open, and then it defaults with no image. So if you click it and then click the blank image in the upper right-hand corner here, then you can actually select the uh, image that you that, that's part of the sound that you've created here. I'll hit open and there it attaches that graphic to the sound effect that you've entered. So now when I hit the button, it works, all right? So now let's get into the, the best part of this program, which is the voice box. This thing is really amazing. This recent release, I believe, is where they have the ability to play sound effects while you're talking and modifying your voice together. So for example, I could tell a story and have story music being played in the background and, and it will also modify your voice. Well, watch this. 
Once upon a time, there was a young child, feeble in nature, but he had an adventurous personality, and he snuck into S4, and as he snuck into the base, he went into a secret room and didn't realize that there was some purple gas inside, and he took a big sniff, and instantly his brain began to melt. Oh no, help me out! But when he awoken, he became a super powerful superhero. This is the end of the story. Thank you. So as you can see, you can actually orchestrate a story now because there are sound files being added to the sound effect itself. Here's another one. Mommy, mommy, I want whiskey. Give me a candy bar, damn it. Here's another one. Roger that. We've got a problem on Walnut Street. It seems as if someone dropped a stick of dynamite in Uncle Fester's septic tank. The missus is covered in poop. We need help immediately. So I could go on and just play these things over and over again. It's like so much fun. My voice is getting raspy now because I've been playing with this thing for so long. This thing is a game changer. Check it out. It's worth the 25 bucks. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I've got a lot more here. Click this link and it'll take you to more videos that will absolutely help you bring you to your A game with OBS Studio. It's next level stuff. You're going to have a great time watching it. This is Scott Victor from Blue Fox Creative. That's my cat. I'll talk to you later.